guys, get out your fantasy basketball folder and get out your stacked bar graph. I have students that were pretty much afraid of other students. They wouldn't talk to them, um, were uncertain, and didn't have anything in common with the other students. With this and it being such a you know, solitary item, we're just doing basketball, they all had something in common. They all came in, they all had a team, they all managed their team, and so they came in and they were able to talk about basketball. Fantasy basketball and math class is way funner than the books are because we engaged more into it than we are with the math books. All the teachers here told Ms. Straw that she has to modify it a little bit for us because we're a special needs class and she hasn't modified pretty close to anything for us yet. How does that make you feel? Happy. Uh, makes you happy? Yeah. It makes us feel like we way smarter than all of us seem to look from the outside looking in. All the kids here think, oh, they can't do that math because it's too hard. They love it. I mean, they're so excited. They come in wanting to learn, ready to play every single day. Um, it's, it's really cool to see them. It's the second I mentioned basketball, their eyes lit up. Okay, so out of Manu Ginobili, Kirk Henrich, Jason Terry, or Duran Williams, who would be, who would best benefit her team? Kirk Henrich? Yeah. All right, Shalon, do you trust Kelvin and LeVar? All right, okay, let's make the trade. The reason why they like to do it, if I was just to give them a textbook and say we're going to draw angles or we're going to find percentage, they don't care. But when I, you know, say, well, we're going to come up with our, you know, our top five players on our teams and we're going to do a circle graph on them, they're excited about that. So then they come in wanting to learn it, and that makes a huge difference. And they come in asking for homework. Like, I'm excited. I'm excited there's, you know, 26 weeks worth of material. I live, sleep sleep, eat, drink fantasy basketball right now. Like the kids, you know, and it's, it's all because of their excitement. If they weren't excited about it, I wouldn't be excited about it. I mean, it, it makes me a better teacher. There was screams and yells and ahas and yeses and, you know, all kinds of good banter going back and forth. But it was just neat to hear the background talk. I think she feels like she really hit upon a way to make learning relevant for them and a way they can take math and apply it to other real life situations. I have no behavior in here. The only behavior that I have is that I have to tell my kids to not be that excited because they get too loud. I have another student in there that is um, identified with special education as emotional behaviorally disturbed. And he comes in and I've never heard him excited about anything. And he comes in and every day he's always asking me, even though we do it every day, Mr. Star, are we doing fantasy basketball? And I'm like, yeah, we're going to do it today. And he's like, good. I really like that. And I've never heard him say he likes anything. Um, or get excited about anything. And that's probably as excited as he'll ever get, but that was huge for him. You want kids to be able to take something that you know a teacher delivers in class and make it their own, number one. As Barb said, make it relevant, and then be able to do the work independently. I mean, that's what we're here for. When I've seen kids in the hallway or on lunch duty, kids will come up to me just with me being in here that, that one day to see this whole thing through and, and let me know how their team's doing or that they won that, you know, the weekly award or so-and-so is out on the injured list so I, I'm going to work with Ms. Straw and we're going to get some new players on my team. I'm very proud of that and just taking ownership in, in this whole process. How do your students feel when you tell them that they're doing algebra? It's exciting for them. Because I think being in special ed, they're always labeled special ed. And so for them to be doing stuff that's higher than some of our other classes are doing, they're owning it. Like they come in, you know, and they, they want to be challenged. They want to know what we're learning next. And when I used to introduce new things, they'd be like, oh, you know, I can't do it. And they'd automatically shut down because they'd never seen it. You know, and now that they come in and I say, well, we're going to, you know, do the stack bar graph. They're like, okay, we can do it. We've seen it be very successful with students with learning difficulties and a variety of learning difficulties. Um, 
from you know being severely learning disabled to mental retardation to kids with behavioral and attentional issues and that it, it, it's been it's grabbed them and made them successful. She's making us understand it more and yeah. making us want to learn how to do math. What this is doing to help our class is that we're stepping above and beyond. There was a student who had missed um, the, the week before a, a couple class periods and when he came into Amy's class he was like not running, but really wanting to run down to the computer lab to get on to see how his team was doing. And I know this student, and I know that you know that there he can be um, challenging, so to speak, as far as his behavior. He was so focused the entire time. One, because he loves basketball. Two, I think his team is doing very well. And three, his leadership skills have just risen to the top because he is familiar with basketball. And so now you put him in a position that he probably hasn't been in before. And now all of a sudden, he's a leader in the class. You know, we have students from all over the world coming into our school and, you know, getting even, you know, having soccer, baseball, football, basketball, you know, they're all the same all around the world. They're played all the same and this can relate to any student. Now, how does that make you feel when your teacher tells you that you're doing algebra? Better. It makes I me mean, feel so great about it myself. Do, it <laughs> does because it feels like I'm going to get out of math 2, go in math 3, and then get out and then go into algebra. And if I go into algebra, I'm fine. I know. It makes you feel like you're really <coughs> learning something instead of, like, most teachers be like, yeah, you're getting in, you're really not. I know. And, then and you, you know, see when you pull see that you are doing it, makes you feel good about yourself. Yeah. It makes you want to come back and do math more. Yeah.